I'm Janos Wilder from the Carriage House. So excited for this partnership with Tucson Medical Center. We're really looking forward to bringing you some healthy recipes, some cooking tips. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and some fun cooking. Are you ready to cook some pasta with me? We're gonna make a great pasta dish with incredible mushrooms. These mushrooms are blue oyster mushrooms. They're grown here in Tucson. They're cultivated. They're a fantastic mushroom with great flavor. If you can't get them, you can use a portobello mushroom. You can use a regular mushroom. You can use shiitake mushrooms. I like these and I'm, I'm gonna show them off because I've got them. Okay, so we're gonna use these mushrooms. We're gonna put arugula in the pasta. So we're gonna melt that down at the end so it just starts to wilt a little bit. These are Castel Voltrano olives from Italy. This sort of really Italian inspired dish. And this great pasta, this is Papardelle pasta. It's a flour, so it's a wheat based pasta. So it's not gluten free. So let's let you know that you can substitute gluten free pasta for it. Um, Parmigiano Reggiano from, from Italy. We're gonna put on top some garlic and a little bit of red chili flake for flavor. So we're going to start here with a little olive oil. Just coat the bottom of the pan. And enough, so when you're working with mushrooms, mushrooms absorb a lot of oil. And so we're just, if we were doing some other things in here, other than mushrooms, we might put a little less olive oil in here, but I'm putting a little bit more in because of the mushrooms. And whatever you're sauteing, you want to make sure your pan and your oil are nice and hot. That keeps things from get, becoming greasy and it keeps things from sticking. Well, I can smell that olive oil right now. That's just really beautiful flavor. So just a few of these mushrooms in here. So we're just going to saute these down to soften them. These mushrooms are not particularly fantastic raw. You want to stay away from them when they're raw, but you want to, but a quick saute is perfect for these. A little salt and the mushrooms will draw out a little bit of the moisture. Fresh ground pepper. See how these are already starting to cook and nice and soft. So you see that they've absorbed some of that olive oil. I'm going to put a little bit more in. And I'm putting it sort of right in the middle so that it can heat up the oil. The pan's nice and hot, so we're heating up that oil. Now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. So I'm adding the garlic now. I'm not adding the garlic at the same time I put in the mushrooms because I don't want the garlic to scorch. So this is just fresh chopped garlic. Oh my gosh. You're going to love doing this at home because it just smells so good. Okay, this is the pasta, this is the paparadel. Paparadel refers to the shape of the pasta, so it's a wide noodle. So these are nice and wide. We do that because we really like them to catch and hold the flavor of the sauce that we're creating in here. That's a good amount for us. Now it's a little dry, so we've got all the flavors from the mushrooms, the garlic, the pasta itself. I'm going to add, this is a little water. When you make your pasta, so I'd already cooked this pasta. When you cook the pasta, you want to cook, cook it what means al dente. Al dente means that it's just to the tooth, so it's, it's just cooked, so it's not soft, 
it, it's, it's got a little bit of body to it, but it's all, cooked all the way through. And then save the water that you cook the pasta in because that's got great flavor. And it's also got a little bit of starch from the pasta, so that it won't really thicken it much, but it'll give it a little bit more body. Now we're going to add these Castel Voltrano olives from a little village in Italy. They're just, they're, they're a beautifully mild green olive. The brine on them is not super salty. We, these, we take the seeds out and just cut them in half lengthwise. So if you have a favorite olive, you can certainly substitute that. I like these olives a lot. Everything's really balanced in this dish. So those flavors of the olives don't overpower. So we're going to add arugula. I want the pepperiness from the arugula in here. We're just going to wilt it. A little bit more. So you've got now sort of that luscious richness from, from, from the mushrooms, the great olive flavor, the it should be the great garlic flavor. The olives are in here now. A little pepperiness from the arugula. I want a little bit more spice in here. So I'm going to add some red chili flakes here just to, to your taste. That's just about it for that, this pasta. It is ready to go. Keep it into a bowl here. Make sure you get plenty of that arugula in there. Pretty. Now we're going to take our micro planer. So we really make this really airy with the, with the Parmigiano Reggiano over the top. So I like it like this because it's really, it's light little pieces and they sort of just start to dissolve into the pasta and there's even more sauce making that way, it's just absorbed everywhere. So just over the top like that. And there you have it, a really light, easy, delicious, healthy pasta for lunch, for dinner, great vegetables, mushrooms and, and, and arugula, a, a, a light meal, you're gonna love it. Here's to healthy living, healthy eating, and fun cooking.